Hi everyone. If if you can see me, then um, you probably can hear me. But how you're going to respond to me is something else. That's the tricky bit. So I would suggest that you could respond to me. Um, you could type your response in in FB uh, via group chat. So I think that would be a good thing. Let me see what I could do. Um, well, I could open a group chat in FB and um, I think we already have a group chat here and you guys um, could actually join in. I think most of you are here already. Okay. So we could we could you could chat with me here, but you could type in chat. Um, one of the things about <laughs> hi Brenda, I see you. So we don't have to I don't have to see your videos. Um, so because bandwidth issues, so I think I might sound like I'm talking to myself, but I know you guys are there watching me. And um, right. Session is open. You guys want to ask me questions? Hello, Jackie. I see you. Great, great, good stuff. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Siggy. Okay, I'm open for questions. Um, if you want to talk about what we last discussed in class, I've not um, I've I've not posted the brief yet. I know you guys are busy, but the brief is pretty much almost there, and um, I would probably wanted actually I wanted to see you guys in class. So I could explain further, but we can chat here. And I don't really need to post the brief up today, tonight. I could still post it up by this weekend. Then you should be able to digest it properly. Hi, Abigail. I see you. Okay. So, I've got a couple of windows open. I've got the... Um, the website open and all and this session is currently being recorded is it lagging it probably will be you might see some kind of time delay but see that's the trouble with streaming live because it really depends on how fast and um, you know how crowded is the bandwidth? I guess this is a peak time at night. Most people go online around this time. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, time delayed a little bit. That's right. A little delayed. Never mind. <laughs> All right. So, how can I help you? I'm here open for your questions. The last time we spoke, honestly, I, it's been a while and a lot has happened. Um, yeah. You guys remember <laughs> what we talked about? Chill, Jackie. Chill. <laughs>
Okay, so um, we were talking about which week are we in right now? Yeah, we were supposed to um, we're supposed to be in week three. We were supposed to talk about comparative study of historical art styles. Um, we couldn't have that lecture on. We were supposed to have that lecture on um, on a Monday. But because yesterday was a ho public holiday, so we'll have to move that lecture on a later date. Um, I'll try my best to make videos, currently in state of making videos anyway, for a lot of things. I'll try my best to make a video on this. But um, until that happens, we will still need to talk about it in class. Now the Monday time slot, which is in the afternoon, that couldn't change. So um, I'm going to decide to um, I'm going to decide to to have the afternoon slots online. <laughs> this session is being recorded, Seki. So uh, don't worry. Oh, Jackie! Wow, so easy for you, huh? <laughs> so you chow la. So um, the thing, the thing that we were talking about before was uh, defining some research question through critical analysis on a celest on a selected artistic style or manifesto. So. Um, how f the question is how far did you um, how far did you actually do your research? Did you discover anything? Did you did you come up with something? Did you visit any uh, galleries? Um, so what have you discovered? Excuse me. Now I think whatever that you have come up with um, will be probably in your blogs, and um, I think for contextual studies blogs, um, so far I've not received um, any updated links, and uh, it would be great if I could see. Hi Alicia. Have have you, the question is have you updated your blogs? Now if if your blogs are being updated, that'll be a good place to start because the the first step for you to catch up in the first three weeks now is to post um, information about your or what you have investigated thus thus far. And if you were looking at um, how design is filled with different metaphors and analogies, and how do they interpret? How are they interpreted by the society and the public? And how does that work? So the context, the context that you got, you got to find out meaning and context. One very simple example of um, last, say, last semester, um, some uh, one of the students watched a movie. We told him to watch a movie called um, any movie, 
and he watched a movie called Les Misérables, and Les Misérables was is is a you know musical, and everything about it had a lot of drama, had a lot of um, political upheaval, riots, and things like that. So there's so many things happening in society within the context of the story. So I asked him what was happening there, but he says um, there's corruption. The whole thing was about corruption, and that's the context. Because if you see everything that has happened, all the events, if all the events are put together, it was all about corruption. Then he said it doesn't end there, but he he decided to add a closure to it. So there's corruption, and there's the antithesis of the corruption, the revolution. So the sort of something like um, the solution for it. So these these two elements is the context of the entire story, the corruption and the revolution. So if you if you were to understand design, try to understand what it stands for. That's the context. If um, if there was Nike, then what does it stand for? What does a brand, for example, stand for? So your exploration and investigation has to go on a critical note. You got you got to go around, and you got to ask a lot of questions. I'm glad you. I'm glad some of you went for that photography trip. And um, and when you when you go for this photography trip, you may have had a lot of critical questions. I wonder why is everyone so sad now. <laughs> Okay, um, there may be another solution for this. Um, there may be another solution. Try this link. <clears throat> okay. So some of you say, uh, I think one of you mentioned that you haven't made your blog. Um, I noticed that now if you haven't made your blog, then get started. I would need to, to review your blogs um, online and this is how I'll review it. I will review your blogs like opening from your from the site and I'll be talking to you about it live. So I think today will be a good it's a good day to start how to see what is the best solution to go live and the best way that we can communicate. Um, if we need to use Skype or if there's a, a, another way for this then perhaps we can. If you guys can suggest to me a better platform to go live that will be great. If you haven't made your blog yet, then get started. I've only seen Alicia's So Alicia is going to <laughs> going to update hers because she's already set up a blog. So the rest of you will have to um, 
to set it up. I think I've shown last class I've shown you some examples of it, and um, it's only week three, so you still have time to get started. But I I've mentioned before, the from every every week you are tasked to do some exploration and investigation and therefore every week you must have at least one to two posts so I would expect Alicia to have two posts this week about your experiences and where what have you been investigating what have you been asking um, <laughs> Brenda fist bump I think that's a fist bump emoticon Okay, so so what's important right now is point number one you are in a discovery period You got to discover ask critical questions yeah ask critical questions and blog it and this blog thing is very important so you got to start doing these three things and I would want the links for your blog as soon as possible um, you can set up your blogs send me the links by this weekend so that Monday, when we meet in class, we will meet in two hours, I'm just going to talk about your content. That's it. And um, there will be something about historical styles that will talk about historical art styles. And that's very important for you to know an overview of the historical art styles. So namely, um, some specific areas of... of um, um, the art movement. My focus would be postmodernism, um, and um, that, but we also have to understand how postmodernism have come about in a brief overview. So a little bit of art, art history will be touched, but not so much. But most importantly, you're going to see how it has developed to postmodernism. Then you're going to look at more examples of where where to find and how do you understand where postmodernism understanding is so if if um, and where is it applied okay for example one of the one of the easy ways to understand uh, art styles is to look at fashion Fashion is an interesting example because fashion transforms from different eras. So art styles move from different eras too. So every kind of design has different has evolved over different timelines and different eras. So when that happens, you see change. You see transformation. And as time goes on, society become more intelligent because they are accessible to knowledge. Today, everyone has full access to knowledge, free access. You've got internet, you've got, you know, everything. People are becoming smarter. And um, having said that, you can see that design is becoming more intelligent and becoming more uncertain and a little bit more less 
less ornamental. However, it's all based on um, necessity. It's all based on um, what's relevant. So, so you see, cult is all also based on culture. And today's world, you see tons of, so many different kinds of subcultures as well. So, if you see, design is is constantly evolving, especially the visual side of design. But there's also the functionality of design. So you've got visual and you've got function. So now you see how they go hand in hand. <coughs> Bro fist. Alicia, you're back. You can hear stuff. Are you guys hearing me? Give me a sign here. Somebody give me a sign. Type, yes, I can hear you. Oh, any legs. So it's like doing a kung fu, you know. So if I, if I do a kung fu, then you can see <laughs> how it lags. I just did a kung fu just now. Did you get it? Wow. I'm probably a lot faster. So you got to discover, you got to ask Chris critical questions and um, nice. Good, good, good. And you got to blog it. These three things. So when you blog about what you're discovering, what you need to do is just write um, about Hi, Megan. Jackie Chan? Really? Jackie Chan? You're joking, are you? <laughs> so you saw the Kung Fu thing. That's really interesting. I'm going to time it. I'm going to time it right now. It's... Um, yeah, I've got to see my watch. And okay, so I just did that little stunt just now, and see how how long does it take for you to to see that? <laughs> you actually got a screenshot of me. Oh my word. You're watching me there. Okay. <laughs> Kung Fu Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan. Okay. So now, back to the blogging bit. So what you need to do is the first part of your writing about the blog, about your your um, investigation, talk about your experience in the first two weeks. Your experience in the first two weeks I mean, you, it is uh, what did you do? Did you, where did you go? Because your task every week for contextual studies, you have to visit a gallery or you, you got to, you got to go and um, see something creative. Go to an art festival. Go to KL Performance Performance Art Center. Go watch a play. Go watch a comedy at um, some comedy place. You know, um, Comedy Central or something. Go to a gig. See someone perform. Go to a theater. See a dance. Go to the. Excuse me. Go to the Philharmonic Orchestra and and listen to something. For example, if you go to a Philharmonic Orchestra and you're listening to Symphony Number no. Nine, um, by Beethoven, for example, then what did you get out of it? If you listen, if you took about ten minutes to listen to that, at the end of the day, what are the two key words you can come up, come up with? What are the two key words you can come up from there? Those are the context. Those are the words that represent 
what you just experienced. So basically what you have here is this contextual studies in a, in a, in a brief framework. It, it's kind of like this. <clears throat> to understand it better is experience Okay. Experience, then you have the representation of that experience. That's what's happening in this module this is what's happening and this representation of this experience needs to be discussed needs to be discussed and that's why you need to blog about it when you discuss it you have questions and this discussion okay is essentially Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay. So this discussion is really about let's pick a different color here. There are questions. These questions have to be critical. <laughs> Hi, Payman. Oh, my gosh. Jackie, are you listening to this in campus? Campus, uh, bandwidth, uh, you have you have to go to maybe the um, the you should try the you should try the um, the twenty four hour study room maybe where it's a lot hopefully it's a lot better. Anyway, if you're if some of you are watching this from home, maybe you wouldn't have a problem um, listening to this. But anyway, <clears throat> so discussions. This discussion is about critical questions, and this discussion is also about observation. What did you observe? If you went to watch a movie you got to have critical questions and observation so what are these two things so when you write your blog you got to follow this framework what are you discussing about this rep first you got to find that representation for example if you were to watch star wars then that whole thing was about say one word the word is called redemption or maybe the word is called um, journey. Maybe the word is called a uh, sacrifice. So if you've got the word sacrifice, then let's discuss what sacrifice is. Then you have critical questions as to why, why sacrifice, for example. What makes it, what 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 makes it a sacrifice, for example. Things like that. So you got to first. Go and get the experience. That's the that's why I put experience as the um, most important thing. So it's experience, then is the representation of that experience. You gotta find the word. 
Now the representation of the experience can be in a form of a um, can be in the form of a word, image. But if you were to talk about the word or image, then uh, you got to pick that. You got to pick the right words which you think is the appropriate word. It's not. It, I'm not going to evaluate your word. I'm not going to evaluate the image because this has to come directly from you, directly from what you observe and what you discuss. This discussion also, okay, for your upcoming assignment, when I post the brief to you, then you get a clearer picture of what you want to discuss in your essay. So this will be... This will be that's what you need to do for your first assignment, the essay. So but before you get started on the essay, you have to understand this. Huh. Hey Abigail, uh, what did you miss? I think you missed quite a bit, but I'm recording this. So I will be posting this up in my channel and um, yeah. I don't know whether you can see the notes clearly, um, my scribbles, but you should be able to to see it once it's uh, uploaded, then you should be able to, to make it out. Maybe I could just enlarge the notes. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> so that's, that's basically the, the framework. <clears throat> 